Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 20th of March, 2018. I hope you had a good trading Monday. It was a good day for us. Futures worked. Stocks worked. We had a good winner in Netflix. Small winner in Nuon. Futures, ESD, and Qs, both had winners. So it was a good, good start to the week. I mean, it wasn't a ton of stuff, but it's enough that you can't complain. We did get a gap down to start the day, which is unfortunate. We'll look at that in a minute when we look at the intra day action but in terms of the uh, daily charts let's go through those first here's the es front month futures contract this is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form obviously a fairly big down day there still never really recovered past that 50 percent retracement and held it anyways from the big drop so this is still a critical area and now we're breaking the, the slight uptrend that we had from that low in the beginning of february and look at that point at the end of february we're now breaking that uh, that trend line we recovered a bit late in the day, but as you'll see when we go through the numbers, it was a pretty negative session. So crude oil down 29 cents. That's just a blip. Doesn't really matter. That 13 sell signal is still the high from over a month ago. Gold up 60 cents. That doesn't matter either. That's a blip. S&P cash down 39.09. Big drop there. Net, uh, the NASDAQ 100 down 155.07. And by the way, you have to recognize this pattern here. We had the gap up about seven days ago, went a little higher, then we had the big reversal day to the downside. Then we had the three days flat at the end of last week for options expiration, which is normal. And now a gap down. What this does is it gives us a six day floating island reversal. These are rare patterns, but very powerful when they happen. For it to be a six day one like that, I mean, six days worth of big volume new high people all trapped in the market. The trigger for that trade is if we break the low of today's trading, that is a big sell signal usually on the market. So let's not ignore that. This could be in a very important moment overall in the NASDAQ. Socks down 27.72, Biotech's down 70.76. We're negative across the board. The VIX back up 3.22 to 19.02, the trend Closes high, so this is going to keep that 10-day moving average. Look at this, 1.94, the 10 days at 1.20. NASDAQ volume at 2.3 billion, obviously nowhere near the fake volume of Friday. I'm talking about fake news on Fox, fake volume on Friday here. Uh, 2.3 billion shares, that's right on the 10-day moving average right now. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 228. It means there was actually more stocks up than down, even though we had this massive negative day on the NASDAQ. Very strange, right? But here's why you're about to see it in a minute. Um, by the way, on the New York side, the advanced decline ratio was horrible, negative 1675. But what was really the determining factor? Well, Google down 34.35 after a gap down. Apple down $2.72. That's big. Amazon down 26.75. That's big. Netflix down 497. That's big, right? Tesla down 779. That's big. So all the big ones, the big ones that keep holding the market up, we're all down huge for the day. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF was just down 38 cents. I'll point out the Dow. We don't usually care, but the Dow, look, at the Dow's in some trouble here. This is nowhere near as strong as the S&P or the NASDAQ after the bounce. So the Dow is, is, uh, is not looking pretty at the moment. Down 335 for the session. Goldman Sachs down 507. All right, so let's look at the intraday action. We'll switch this to our usual five-minute candles. So here's you can see here on the S&P, the gap down, headed lower, and just kept going. And then when they came back from lunch, we found a little stability, bounced back a little bit, although we didn't get back to the VWAP or anything exciting there. The NASDAQ side, about the same. Bigger gap down, went lower. The 13 sell, a buy signal on the Comer was actually pretty much the low of the day. And the last couple hours were flat. So the money was made early in the futures and in the stocks that we trade early. It wasn't much to do in the afternoon. All right. In terms of economic data on Tuesday, we've got the NFIB Small Business Index at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. No one cares. CPI, that's a big one, uh, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, an hour before the bell. I don't expect any major surprises there. Probably tracking for about a 0.2% annualized rate, which is not a big deal. 30-year bond auction at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. A lot of data left ahead this week, but for Tuesday, let's just focus on that. And see if this is the next leg down the market. Uh, I'd like to find some more stuff. Hopefully the scans turn up some good stuff tonight. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Hold on. Sorry. I apologize. You catch that. There's no CPI number tomorrow. Tomorrow's no economic data at all. There's one wrong week. So no data Tuesday at all to worry about. But we still have obviously some issues here in the market. Have a great trading Tuesday.